And with that, the 23rd pick of the 2012 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Riley Reef. Well, part of the nice story of the Lions was that a couple of their linemen were left over from the team that went 0-16 just a few years ago, like a Jeff Backus. And now here, they're going to make a move with Riley Reef, Mel and John. They'll start to change things over. Well, you look at Riley Reef, 6'5 and a half, 313 pounds. Doesn't that be tremendously long arms if you would prefer in the left tackle? But well-coached Kirk Ferentz is an offensive line guru. It's a great job technically getting these guys ready, getting them ready for the NFL. You think about Olaga a few years ago, Marshall Yonda with the Baltimore Ravens. I like the fact he's played left tackle, right tackle, and guard, and the fact he started 34 consecutive games. Durable, well-coached, Good football player, John Smart. For the Detroit Lions, Matthew Stafford had some injuries early in his career. you got to keep them upright. That's why he took way too many hits last year for his own good. Offensive tackle out of Iowa, once again, going on interior D here. So you think Big Ten, Mike Martin at Michigan had a heck of a career, and I think under the radar was Mike Daniels at Iowa. You think about a guy who got his weight up to 290 pounds, and this past season, 13 and a half tackles for loss, nine sacks, low center of gravity, strong, gets off blocks, locates the football, understands leverage. And I think these Iowa kids are very well coached in the trenches. This kid will come in with his weight now at about 290 to 293 and have an opportunity. He's only six foot and a half. Very difficult to block along the interior. And all he did during his career at Iowa, particularly during the latter stages of his career, junior year, 40 tackles, senior year, 67 tackles. So the improvement was significant. As I said, well coached fundamentally and technically. Now when you get a kid coming out of that Kirk Ferentz, Iowa Hawkeye program, whether it's an offensive lineman or a defensive lineman. Round five of the NFL draft. Adam Geddes, offensive guard out of Iowa, goes to the Redskins. I actually like him better, Trey, than the guard the Redskins took around earlier in the third round, Joshua Rebus from SMU. Geddes off the radar entirely until this season. You say, why? Well, he battled injuries as a junior. Up until that point, he was a backup. Done very little to excite. He was only around 280, 285. This year he comes in, gets his weight up. You talk about being more prepared to be an NFL player. Shows up the combine at 292 pounds. Did a real good job this year. Kirk Ferentz again, the master in terms of developing linemen. Riley Reef, the left tackle. Last year was Brian Balaga. You look at Adam Geddes, a very athletic guard. Around a 4-9-1 at the combine. Talk about understanding leverage. Very technically sound. Can pull, can trap. And I think once his weight went from 280 to about 290 to 295, that solidified his standing as an NFL caliber quarterback uh, out of Iowa going to the Cincinnati Bengals. Cincinnati Bengals, we said when they drafted Drake Kirkpatrick, maybe another cornerback at some point was comment yesterday. And they come back with a guy like Sean Prater, 5'10 and a quarter, 188 pounders, been making plays in that secondary since his freshman year. Big junior season with four picks. A guy that I think can make a team, contribute in that secondary, help you on special teams as well. And certainly when you think about this Iowa Hawkeye program, rave about Kirk Ferentz. He gets those guys ready for the National Football League. When you watch a kid like Prater making plays, getting after the quarterback there, creating a fumble, forced four fumbles this past season, picked off one pass. That's seven interceptions over the last three years in that Iowa Hawkeye defensive secondary. This is a guy in that defensive backfield at the cornerback spot where you receiver out of Iowa goes to the Eagles. And Marvin McNutt was a highly productive player that continued to get better and better each season. When you watch him, he doesn't have great suddenness, but I think he's athletic. And I think he does a very nice job adjusting to the football. That's what he's at his best doing. He'll make these flash catches like you're seeing here, you know, behind the back, absolutely doing a great job with his body control, able to adjust in the air and all the things you look for, but then he'll have a concentration drop. So that's one area he needs to improve. He's never going to be overly explosive, but Marvin McNutt knows how to get open and he catches the ball in traffic. This is a good late round pick. And a former quarterback, Todd, so yep. he's still learning, he's still developing. He was just a quarterback. I mean, he was a quarterback early on at Iowa. Um, the pre-draft process has been an interesting one. I mean, it's different than anything I've experienced just because, um, I mean, I get to go down and work out down in Alabama and now I'm back here training in Iowa City.